Yes, I do. So, I'll post, um, just side note, the glasses will be posted below. So, uh, same place for the earrings and the windbreaker is from Forever 21. Okay, so this hair is from a DH Gate company called U Glam Hair. I have in a 426 inches. This is true, I didn't cut anything. And I have also have in a 360 frontal that is 22 inches. So that's why it stops here compared to the 26. Okay, now this is what I was talking about where I said there's a way to make your curly hair and your wavy hair still match without it looking straight as hell at the roots. Okay. This is all the hair pull, wait, hold on, cause I could be lying. This is all the hair pull forward. So what I did was, this hair has been washed numerous times, and I've used this conditioner, which is my Tresemme Moisture Rich, as my grandmother would say, Moisture. This does a trick every single freaking time. So what I did was, after I uh, went ahead and washed it, I washed it with warm water. I like to use a clarifying shampoo, and then I like to use a very moisturizing shampoo. And once, um, clarifying usually just gets like whatever may still be in the hair out, but you also don't, you just clarify this because you will end up with a nice nap ball, so don't do that. Then you want to condition the hell out of your hair to make sure that it looks nice and beautiful and lustrous like this and it'll, you know, have this nice look when you're done. Okay, when your hair is wet and you sit it on your mannequin head, then you want to take a blow dryer of your choosing. This is my, what is this, my Ion Whisper Quiet Light, which is a damn lie. This thing is pretty loud, so I don't know what they, what, what they using over there at Ion, but it ain't no quiet mess. And I use a diffuser, and the, I don't know if a lot of people know what a diffuser is for, but this diffuses the water out of your hair after you, um, after you wash it and you condition it, and you use it, I like to use mine on a warm setting, and you take it while your hair is wet, and you just literally bunch it through all of the hair until it's completely dry. Then you're gonna end up with a look that looks like this. I, in the past, I told you guys, uh, for those who don't have a diffuser, what you could also do is dry your hair upside down. The thing with that is it takes longer to dry because the hair isn't, it's still kind of just sitting in its own juices. So you don't really necessarily want to do that if you don't have to. So if you do have a, uh, a diffuser for your blow dryer, you can uh, do this method and it, you'll get this look. Um, I'm going to do a video on this because I think a lot of people are a little confused on how this works, but it does make a big difference in your hair. And on top of that, if you don't have a diffuser that came with it, you can always go to Sally's and buy one. This one actually came with it, and it's the Lion Ass Ion uh, Whisper Light. But it does work. I love this. This is my new favorite uh, blow dryer. Um, my T3 ones I have, which is for my, that came from the Barbie collection, I use those as well. But I love this one for this look. So this is the four bundles that I have in. So then, again, this is a lot of hair for an average person. This is a lot of freaking hair for the average person. However, for review reasons and dramatic reasons and my dramatic reasons, I wanted to be able to show you guys what it would look like if you did have four bundles. The summer is upon us. So therefore, this is great pool hair. Imagine this with a cute little one piece or two piece, depending on how, you, how good you're feeling about your body. You know, you dip in the water. It, it's great when it comes down to actually getting it wet. It just has, it's gonna droop, it's gonna pull, you know, like hair does because the, the water obviously makes it swells and then it gets heavy. Um, but as, aside from that though, I haven't had any major issues with this. 
this is my Aaron hair. This is also my cute after hours hair. If y'all know what I mean. <laughs> you know, something that you don't have to pay a lot of attention to. I can literally throw this on and go about my day. I don't have to be committed to, you know, straight hair all the time. So this would be, this piece right here, this would be like what it looks like before I diffuse it and all that. This is what it would look like if it was just wet. So as you can see, it's gotten bigger since it's definitely got more body to it. You don't have to wear it. This This is because I just keep running my fingers through it. So it's just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger um, as you start to separate um, a lot of the curls in the hair. It is true kinky curly hair. So be careful with the amount of product that you put in it because you don't want to overwhelm the hair and you don't want to put it in a situation where now it has a lot of product in it because the product also can make it start to get very nappy and very tangled and it's going to cause a lot of shedding issues. So to the shedding. Unfortunately, I've had more shedding than I would have liked with this hair, and it's only I only get this shedding issue when the hair is wet. When the hair is dry, I don't deal with this. It's only when it's wet do I start to have a nice amount of shedding that comes. So I'm gonna take that as the fact that I did cut my webs. So, so we're gonna we're gonna play this by ear, people. I feel like. I wanted it to be as flat even though you really can't tell because of the fact that it's so big you still don't want it to be big on top of big and then it just looks like you have on a big wig you don't want to do that now the frontal you can you know it has parting space up and through here I just didn't necessarily use it just because for this look I just wanted it to be huge and big so a part wasn't a defined part wasn't necessary so I just went like this and that's what it did so again, this is what I did when I, I, I think I'm going to use this hair as a tutorial, as tutorial hair so you guys can see exactly what I do because I know a lot of times what happens is curly hair is usually the most problematic hair for people who do not know what they're doing. This is a lot of maintenance people so if you think you're going to buy this hair and it's going to be easy breezy because I'm wearing it like this and I said that it's my throw on hair, yeah for me it is because I know how to take care of it. Just make sure you use a good hydrating shampoo, I mean a good, well that too but a good hydrating conditioner all conditioner swab that's a dollar does not hydrate anything okay that is equivalent to putting some lotion on it, it's the difference between baby magic and Johnson & Johnson's just saying that baby magic will keep you nice and ashy so if I was you guys the, the, the best advice I could give you guys as far as um, moisturizing shampoo goes and moisturizing conditioner is the moisture rich from Tresemme. This stuff is very, this whole bottle I think is about five dollars, okay? Tresemme ain't giving me no coins for all this promotion, but I will say it does work and it's very inexpensive as opposed to Sebastian's or you get the Paul Mitchell brand. This is a great alternative. This will save your hair. You have to just make sure that you hydrate it and you give it enough time. If you feel like your hair is getting crunchy, if you feel like your hair is getting tangled, if you feel like your hair is going to knot up in a ball, take your wig off, take your bundles out, put it in a Ziploc bag, sop it up with this. Put it in the microwave for at least two to three minutes. Watch the heat, but you want it to penetrate. Once you rinse that hair with cold water, this should have helped all of that tangleness that you were having issues with. So if you have any old hair just laying around that you think is just kind of done, try this. It's $5, a Ziploc bag, and your microwave. We all have them. Try it and see what happens. So I will say that's the only con that I've had with this hair is the fact that it does shed when uh, quite a bit when it's wet. When it's dry, as you can see, I'm completely fine. I don't have any issues. I can run my fingers through it, and I just run my fingers, and I just go ahead and run my fingers through, and it'll be it'll be cool. It's it's calm. It's collected. It's not napping up on me. It's cool. But you just have to be sure to detangle your hair and make sure that you do it in sections and not to pull and make sure that your hair is ratty. This hair has definitely been processed, okay? This is not the original texture of this hair. This hair has definitely been processed to stay uniform like this. So, because it has been some type of process, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you detangle your hair or you're going to end up with a big old ball and then you're going to say that it's the company's fault because you've been wearing it for two months and now it's all of a sudden it's bad, people. Sometimes it's the company, sometimes it's just you and your lack of knowledge. So I'm trying to give y'all, I'm trying to drop some gems on y'all. Let y'all know what it be like, yeah? So, if you guys are interested in this hair from Glam Hair over there at DHGate, 
then I'll put the link for this below. This is a 360 unit, but this is way too much hair for me to try to put in a bun of any sort. Like, period. It looks stupid. It looks dumb. It's so unnecessary because it's just a big mop of a mess. The only way that this will work is if you literally combed all this hair out. It was a big afro, and then you decided to put in, like, a natural bun, which I'm not going to do because, again, that causes tangling, that causes pulling, that causes shedding. So... I wouldn't do that if I was you, but it is a very nice 360 unit. I do like it. I do like the frontal very much. It did come with some nice baby hair in it, but it's just very, very full, you know? And when it's wet, it's like this, but it's just more so on the uniform side. And then once I use the diffuser, then the diffuser gives it back its life and its body and that whole thing. So I feel very 80s. And I low-key, I feel like a Rashida from Love & Hip Hop. Atlanta, which is a mess this season, by the way. No, I ain't doing reviews. So, I'll put the links below, and I will catch y'all in my next one. Peace!